We're joined by Senator Tom Cotton. Good morning to you, sir. It's been a day or two. Morning, Kevin. How are you? Doing all right. Uh, the president says he wants to meet directly with North Korea. Uh, as I understand, you might have some reservations about that. What's up? Well, North Korea has a long history of using diplomacy to buy time and mislead the United States and our allies about their nuclear programs. But at this point, Kevin, the pattern of U.S.-North Korea crises are very well established, and North Korea's nuclear and missile program are obvious. So this might be an opportunity to break those patterns, but we should go in clear-eyed. We should make no concessions to North Korea simply for the sake of having these talks, or until North North Korea agrees to objectively and verify begin to denuclearize uh, their military. Um, That's been the goal all along, and hopefully that's what will result here. But we should be clear-eyed and skeptical about it. Were you surprised by the president's announcement? I think it took a lot of people by surprise, um, Kevin, but, um, you know, he has suggested in the past that he would be willing to have this kind of uh, meeting with Kim Jong-un. And uh, again, that What's, we've been trying the same kind of thing for 25 years until President Trump took office. So hopefully this will be a chance to break those patterns um, and denuclearize North Korea in a way that leads to you know, peaceful um, relations in East Asia and removes the threat of a nuclear missile striking the United States. Kevin Miller along with Senator Tom Cotton on News Radio 102.9 KRN. Senator, also to the talk of tariffs, uh, your feeling there and how that could affect our state. Well, it's clear that some steel manufacturers in China in particular um, are using unfair uh, trade practices. Um, China's gone from just a small fraction of the world market in steel to almost um, 50% of the world market in steel. That said, um, if we want to target China, I think we should target China. Um, And I think the president recognized that as well. That's one reason why he exempted for the time being Canada and Mexico, two other big exporters of steel to the United States who also trade and buy a lot of Arkansas products, such as our agricultural products. And um, we'll see going forward how he interacts with the rest of our allies. You know, I know that the uh, trade representatives meeting with Europeans this week uh, as they discuss their efforts to have reciprocal fair trade agreements with the United States. But with China, uh, it's clear that we need to uh, um, take firmer action against their um, abusive trade practices. Kevin Miller with Senator Tom Cotton on News Radio 102.9 KRN. Uh, we have been talking to economists, state economists, also uh, many of our members of our congressional delegation. Uh, tariffs could have a big effect on Arkansas, in particular with agriculture if a trade war should happen to break out. Agriculture, the biggest industry in our state, it's no surprise to you. For you as a family farmer, is that a concern also? Yes, of course. Um, Arkansas has been trading um, our agricultural products for almost around the world for almost as long as we've been a state. So it's always important that we open new markets and keep existing markets open for our farmers and our ranchers and our foresters. Um, so that's one thing that uh, I've focused on in my conversations with the administration. But it's, it's also important, too, that, that every other person in Arkansas gets a, a free and fair shake, whether they're involved in manufacturing steel or um, you know, manufacturing of light or heavy capital goods and so forth. And I want to make sure that when we're um, lowering tariffs or other barriers to trading with the United States, that other countries are engaged in reciprocal relationship. Kevin Miller and Senator Tom Cotton on News Radio 102.9 KRN. Uh, you and uh, some other senators have introduced something called the PASTE Act. If you would explain what the PASTE Act is all about. This is designed to keep the price of um, of prescription drugs, specifically generic drugs, down for Arkansas seniors. Uh, a lot of big pharma companies really game the systems to try to protect themselves from competition. So one example of that is as a, as a name brand drug is coming off patent, they essentially just rearrange the molecules in the drug. They don't do anything to change its chemical properties, but they, they rearrange the molecules. They claim it's a new drug for which they get new patent protection, and then they sell it to an Indian tribe. Uh, Indian tribes have immunity from lawsuit in our court system. That means when a generic drug manufacturer wants to start manufacturing that drug, they can't sue the Indian tribe. I think this is an outrageous abuse 
of sovereign immunity and uh, unfair gaming of the system by pharmaceutical companies. We need to make sure it doesn't happen anymore so Arkansas consumers are not paying high prices for drugs that were invented long ago and should be off patent and you should be able to get a generic for. How are you going to close that loophole? Is that uh, the part of the act? Is that, is that how it's going to We're, we're simp- simply going to prohib- prohibit patent protection uh, for drugs that are held by Indian tribes that didn't develop those drugs. We can't, we can't allow um, Big Pharma simply to sell their intellectual property rights to an Indian tribe, basically renting out the tribe's immunity, and then license it back and keep going on doing business just as they would have if they had kept the rights in the first place, though themselves been subject to lawsuit. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, I can also see how that could be used in other areas, too. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, first News, Kevin Miller, along with uh, Senator Tom Cotton. Uh, Senator, thanks so much. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, have a good morning. 747 News Radio 102.9 KRN. Getting-